In this video, I'm going to talk about the Bootstrap 5 version in Power Pages. Now, what is Bootstrap V5? Bootstrap V5 is a commonly used cascading style framework. It is uh, it helps you create a site using the latest uh, CSS styling framework, which is version number five. Now, how to enable the version number five? Now, version number five is like you can navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center and under Environments, you can enable version number five. Now, what was the earlier version for Bootstrap for Power Pages? Now, the older version for Bootstrap was Bootstrap 3, and now Microsoft has made a jump from Bootstrap 3 to Bootstrap 5. So, uh, the newer version uh, for all the uh, application will use Bootstrap version 5. Now, you might be thinking like, oh, there are old sites with Bootstrap V3. Can we convert that to V5? Yes, definitely you can convert the old sites with Bootstrap V3 can be converted to V5 using a migration tool. Now, how can we migrate? is you can use uh, the pack CLI tool to migrate the old site from version three to version five. Uh, so uh, now if you uh, install the latest version of CLI, uh, you might have seen one change in the command. So there is pack power pages instead of pack PA portal. Now, however, remember that pack PA portal also works, but uh, it might eventually get phased out in the near future. So make sure that you use pack power pages and then there is one command which is bootstrap dash migrate and then you need to provide the path of the website folder of the v3 version now i'm going to cover this in one of the video uh, uh, so uh, i'll not bother about it now uh, let's look into the next part bootstrap v5 is only available in the enhanced data model so make sure that if you want to use a bootstrap v5 site make sure the data model for that environment is switched to enhanced mode if you are still in the standard mode you will not be able to leverage the bootstrap v5 interface now the templates which are supported by Bootstrap V5 are the blank page template, starter layout templates, application processing templates, program registration template, schedule and manage meetings template. So these are the templates which are currently supported by Bootstrap V5 and eventually Microsoft may start adding more templates which will support Bootstrap version 5. Now, what are the benefits of using Bootstrap 5 is you can use the latest and the greatest CSS controls by Bootstrap. You can get the latest security updates and fixes. Now, if you want to know more about Bootstrap version 5, I have uh, created a similar video for Bootstrap version 5. So make sure that you go ahead and see that video. If you see that video, you will understand the power of Bootstrap version 5 and what other things you can do which you know like microsoft provides you uh, for free with a stock standard template now you can add a lot of modern controls without even buying or purchasing those controls these are free controls you know you can use those rich text of controls which are responsive which supports rtl and uh, it's 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 rich in nature and you can get a whole bunch of color palettes which are predefined with uh, bootstrap version 5 and it makes use of uh, sas variables so uh, again, it's a uh, makeshift, uh, you know, like uh, la landmark CSS uh, changes within the Power Pages site, whereby, you know, over a period of time, people might start using SAS uh, systems, like a syntactically awesome style sheet uh, for rendering the CSS. Okay. So uh, let me show you in demo. Okay. Now, if you see here, under environments now this is one of my power pages site okay now i'm in, in i have enhanced data model enabled okay for this environment now if you see here you will see one button which says enable bootstrap v5 for the new site now remember this is in preview site okay so what you need to do if you want to switch this site to a bootstrap v5 version then under this uh, so I'd go to environments and then go to your specific environment just tick this button Okay, but the moment you take this button, it will tell you all your new sites will be created using Bootstrap V5, where you can access new studio templates and increase security. Your current sites will continue to remain in Bootstrap V3. Since this is a preview feature, it is recommended that you enable this for test environment. So that's what they say, like, you know, if you want to convert this, then make sure that you uh, understand all the terms and conditions before you go ahead and do that. So better to do that for the test environment first and then see all the changes with all your sites and navigational links are all coming up nice and easy. If not, then I would recommend not to do anything about it as of now till the time it goes out of preview. Okay, so this is how you do that. Now, I have uh, 
call it more environment whereby I have already enabled the data model and enabled the bootstrap v5 version and I've created the site bootstrap. You know, now this site is in v5 version. Okay. Now, how do I come to know about that is, uh, now this is that bootstrap site which I have created. Now, if I preview the site, And if I do a view page source, and if I search for a text uh, bootstrap, okay. Now, as I search for this text, you will see some information over here. Now, this is, it says that this is using bootstrap v5 bundle. Okay, so that means this site is completely converted into bootstrap version 5. Okay, that's why you see this bootstrap uh, v5 written over all here. Okay, so this site uses Bootstrap version 5. Now, I have an old site as well, which is a wingtip site UAT. Let's see what this site has. So this is also one of the sites which I created earlier. So if I go to view page source, and if I do a boot, now you will see here, there are three references to the Bootstrap uh, component, and uh, there is no references of V5. Okay, so this is this uses bootstrap min.css and here also it's bootstrap.bundle, okay, .js. Now, so as you know that now this is uh, one of the way through which you will come to know whether your site has converted uh, into V3 or V5 version. So if your uh, source code has a bootstrap V5, that means your site is converted into V5. Now, remember again, uh, going back into the admin center, you can convert your site from v3 to v5 provided you are already switched on to enhanced data model if you're not then you will not be able to move that into bootstrap version 5 and now as v5 is in preview make sure that you test it completely before you make any changes to the production site okay so that's it folks uh, thanks for watching uh, and i'll see you in my next video